Hey everybody, welcome back to Montreal Connected. Now the Montreal Alouettes have the unfortunate distinction of being the lowest scoring team in the CFL this season. To help remedy that problem, the Owls have now officially named Jeff Garcia their new quarterback coach. Garcia is a former NFL and CFL star, and he sat down with our Sean Coleman to give us his game plan. Hey, thanks Jeff for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, I appreciate it. <laughs> You had a really long and successful NFL career. You probably could have had uh, any coaching job that you wanted to start with. Why pick Montreal? Well, it was one of those things that really just came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, it was one of those things I had reached out to Jim Pop. We were talking about an actual player, a quarterback that I had been training, a young quarterback, and I wanted to see if Montreal would just take a look at the kid. Next thing you know, Jim Pop was asking me, well, what are you doing now? And when this basically fell into my lap, I thought, what a great opportunity for me to explore and see if I'm really wired to be a coach. A yeah. lot of hours, it's a gypsy lifestyle, you don't have consistency or complacency in the sense of being in one place, unless you're doing real well, mm -hmm. but it gives me that chance. So that's why I'm here in Montreal, hopefully to help this team, help the quarterback position, yeah. play the game better, and have a chance to win football Well, let's games. talk about that. The Alouettes bringing you in to help their anemic offense, and a, and a big part of that offense is Troy Smith. Have you had an opportunity to watch a little bit of game film? Do you know what parts of the game you're gonna be working with him? Absolutely, I've been able to watch the games that he's played in. I've been able to watch him all week in practice, sit in meeting rooms with him, talk to him about the game. We've really been trying to focus, focus upon how we can simplify things for Troy, how we can make him or help him play faster and more effective. Now you won three Pro Bowls in five years, or went to three Pro Bowls in five years, and then after that traveled a little bit with Detroit, Cleveland, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay. Did you ever feel during your playing days that you didn't get enough respect that you deserve? Absolutely, I felt like I was the uh, Rodney Dangerfield of the <laughs> NFL. <laughs> I get no respect, man. But you know what, there were always those people out there that felt like the grass was greener. Mm -hmm. I would come in, lead that team to the playoffs. Now, granted, there were a couple tough experiences in there, and you mentioned Detroit and Cleveland, but we took the 49ers from a team that had been great for two decades and got old. And all of a sudden, we had to go through a transition, replacing players, bringing in youth, all those things. We got right back to the playoffs two consecutive years. And it's just unfortunate that because of the way this game is built, yeah. Because of... Uh, you don't look so like a prototypical that's quarterback. That's the thing, because people are looking for that guy who is just going to walk off the bus and go, oh my God, yeah. there's Troy Aikman. Well, I'm not... I don't look like Troy Aikman. <laughs> I'm not 6'3 and 225 pounds. I'm 6'185, yeah. 190 pounds. But you know what? I know how to play the game. I give everything that I have mentally, physically. I play tough, play with a lot of heart, and I'm smart. And that is what helped me to be successful and also helped to rally the guys around me to elevate their game. Yeah. If you're not a leader as a quarterback, if you're not expecting the most out of yourself, how can you expect that out of anybody right. else? Very quickly here, it's our last question. Damon Allen played until he was 45, you are 44, and the camera shows you're still in good shape. What are the chances that someone can buy a Jeff Garcia Montreal Alouettes jersey sometime this season? <laughs> Well, now that you tell me how old Damon was, <laughs> I knew he played into his 40s. Yeah. I didn't realize 45. And Damon was uh, one of those guys who kept himself in excellent shape and stayed youthful in so many ways. And with what I do these days, training quarterbacks, I train with them. So I've been throwing the ball since January. I'm probably in better quarterback shape than I've ever been, to be <laughs> honest with you. Uh, it's really a matter of could I go out there and take the hits, yeah. but you never know until you try. You never know so, until you try. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not ruling anything out. I'm here to help from the coaching side, but I would be lying if there wasn't still that itch, that fire burning inside to, to just say, let me see what I can do. Give well, me the ball in my hands. <laughs> Every quarterback, whether it's now or in the past, wants the ball in his hands. Jeff, uh, on behalf of all Montreal Wets fans, I hope we find the answer to a victory, whether you're on the field or off of it. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it.